Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome to The Pete Perspective. Super, super excited to be here. Thank you for checking the video out. That's freaking awesome. I don't know why you'd wanna hear about my perspective, but you're here, which means you do, which is odd, but I really appreciate it. So today's video is gonna be talking about the art of starting, but before we get into that, I wanna tell you what this channel will be about, and it'll be about a few things. Uh, the first thing is that everybody is welcome here, no matter what you are, or you're human, but no matter what you do or where you come from, whatever, blah, 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 you're welcome in this place. Anybody who says otherwise is a liar and they gotta go. We're gonna be talking about design. I'm a designer, um, which is really awesome. I love, I love what I get to do every day. So design, culture, movies, tech, video games, all of those types of things you can find here. And so the reason why I called it the P perspective was just because that is the only thing that is unique to me is my perspective on honestly today's platforms like whatever platform you want to be on whether whether it be TikTok, Facebook, you know, YouTube, Instagram. The only real thing that you have that is unique to you is your perspective and your take and it's valuable and I think that uh, my perspective is, is valuable and I hope it provides value to you. So anyways, let's begin. The art of starting and typically when people give you tips and tricks and how to's and all that sort of stuff, it's usually when they've arrived at some point or established themselves to some degree. They have maybe a couple thousand followers, a couple million followers, or subscribers I should say. For me, um, I am starting. Truly, this is my first video. I have not done this before. And so I'm gonna give you perspectives that I'm experiencing and literally feeling in this moment, all right? So I'm gonna give you guys five things that you can kind of hold on to and hopefully challenge you if you're like me and wanting to start on YouTube or wanting to start on a platform, but you need a little bit of a kick in the butt or an encouragement. So I'm here to do both. The first thing is the need to be a pro has got to go, all right? And so what I mean by that is that the need to be perfect, right? You gotta get it out of your mind. When you want to be on the Jedi Council, you gotta be a Jedi Master. Before you can be a Jedi Master, you have to be a Padawan. Before you can be a Padawan, you have to be a youngling, and then you get slaughtered by Anakin Skywalker at the end of Revenge of the Sith. That dude was terrible. What a sad moment. Anyway, be a Padawan. If you're a Padawan, be a Padawan. If you're a youngling, be a youngling. Like live in, stay in your lane in that regard, and like it's okay to not be a pro and not have all of the things and not be able to do, you know, to have products to review or like, you know, like just find a way to do what you can and just be a Padawan. Like don't let that cripple you from starting and, and being effective, right? Like you don't need to have everything figured out in order to start. And so that is the first thing. The need to be a pro has got to go. The second thing is just press record. So the distance between my phone, which is what I'm actually um, recording on is my iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, the distance between me and my iPhone 12 Pro is a couple feet, but really it felt like miles away because for me to like hit play and start this video was really, really difficult. And a couple minutes ago before I was recording this, I was speaking with my wife and I was just like, I feel anxious. Like I feel like I shouldn't be doing this or like I'm not, I'm inadequate, like imposter syndrome. Somebody else should be doing this, but it shouldn't be me. And so she just kept encouraging me and pushing me <laughs> and like slapping me across the face saying like, you can do this. Larry, what the hell are you doing? Larry! Larry, you can't just, oh. Larry, oh, are you all right? How did you? Larry! Um, and so here I am. So I, uh, yeah, I'm terrified, I'm nervous, I'm all those things, but like, I'm here. And I think you could be here too. And I would like to be here together in that regard. So, you know, if you are somebody who's just starting off, let me know if you resonate with that because it would be nice to know that I'm not alone. The next thing, which is number three, is do it again. You have to have consistency. In anything in life, um, success is completely dependent on your consistency to do X, like whatever it is. And so YouTube is no different. You should aim to do like a video a week. Um, you don't need to you know, take the pressure off. You don't need to have a couple videos a week and you know, just make one good piece of content a week and put it out and whatever, man. Like, just see what happens. Don't, the paralysis of analysis. And that's me, I'm, I'm there. I've actually had everything I've needed to make this video for like three weeks and I haven't done it because there's always been an excuse. I think last week I swept and mopped the floors like 30 times and then I was complaining about the fact that I didn't have time to do a video and that's not true because 
I had time, I just chose not to do it. And so consistency, consistency, consistency. In that regard, next week I'm hoping to do another video so you guys can hold me accountable. We'll be accountability partners. I think I should be able to. We have a newborn at home, which is awesome. I love him, his name is Theo, but he's a lot of work. So I'm like trying to do a video next week, but that is my goal. If I can just get a video done next week, I'm not worried about months and you know, down the road, I'm just worried about the next step. Just one foot in front of the other, just like those old claymation Christmas, uh, you know, movies where it's like, just put one foot in front of the other. Put in front of the other. That's me right now. Step number four is I'm mean, listen to the truth tellers. Really, it's just listen to the truth tellers because I have an internal dialogue, which Psychiatrists actually say, this is really fascinating, but psychiatrists say that 80% of your internal dialogue on a daily basis is negative. And then leaving about 20% of that to be positive, which means that 80% of your day, you're actually talking negatively to yourself. I think there's, there's exceptions to that where people train their minds to think differently and we all can do this together because I feel like I err on the side of that 80% negative internal dialogue. So I'm constantly telling myself like, I am inadequate or like I shouldn't be doing whatever. And those are all just lies that I choose to believe every day. I choose to believe those lies. So when I say listen to the truth tellers, you need to find a couple people in your life that um, are willing to encourage you and also call out like some of the good qualities about you. So for me, I would say that's 100% my wife is the first person that comes to mind. My cousin, Elijah, he's somebody that I've ran this idea by of starting on YouTube and he runs an amazing Twitch channel and he streams like all the time, but it's called Tread and Lightly and he runs while playing video games. So that's super unique and it's like something that he does and loves. And so he was somebody who's inspired me, but encouraged me as well. And then my sister just recently was just like, yeah, like I really do think that people would enjoy your perspective and your take on things. And so, you know, those were things that I have to really intentionally choose to cling to and say, okay, these are other people who see these qualities or characteristics in me. And so I need to trust that they're seeing something and what they're seeing is real and it's true. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And that's why I'm here um, today. So that's the fourth thing is just listen to the truth tellers and find the truth tellers too. You gotta find them and then you gotta listen to them. Believe them, really believe them. And then the fifth thing is prepare well with what you got. I think this is huge. This was a big deal for me. It's just, I didn't have all the right equipment. I didn't have all the right things, you know, your setup and blah, blah, blah. And so for me, I have a light that I borrowed from a friend. I have a light, two lights and a boom mic and a tripod that I got from Amazon and like a strip light in the background that I put around the desk, but everything else was here. I had a little desk set up already. That's what I have and that's what I'm making work for now. And maybe someday there could be more, but honestly, this is pretty good <laughs> for now. And so I'm not really complaining, but don't use the crutch of like, I don't have, like if you have an iPhone six and up, you can probably make pretty decent YouTube videos. So just like kind of go for it, get maybe a couple things that you need. Like, you know, it's okay to prepare, but don't let your preparation like get to the point where you're, where you're paralyzed, right? Like prepare well, but don't get paralyzed. And it's so easy to just become paralyzed with trying to think of all the things to do and got to set up a channel and I got to think about the content and I got to do this and I got to do that. And so just chill, you can do it. Um, I believe in you. So I'll run through those things really quickly again. It's the need to be a pro has got to go. Just press record, do it again. Listen to the truth tellers, find the truth teller, listen to the truth teller, believe the truth tellers. And then lastly is prepare well with what you got. All right, y'all, it's been a blast. And I really appreciate y'all just taking time to chill and uh, on this channel. And so I hope, man, that you guys come back. If anything of you know that you heard was valuable or you feel like you got a nugget out of it that you can run with, that's dope, like awesome. Feel free to let me know like in the comments and like let's just talk. I would love to dialogue with you guys and figure out what you're struggling with and I can tell you guys what I'm struggling with because I'm definitely struggling with things as it relates to starting YouTube and so we can figure it out together. We can move forward together. I would love to just journey with you if you're somebody that's also new starting on anything and we can kind of like figure it out together which would be a lot of fun so comment if you'd like to subscribe cool if not that's totally fine too no pressure and yeah i appreciate you stopping by remember that a fresh perspective could change anything and everything and sometimes you just need one so all right i'll catch you on the next one peace